We got some new photos of the Bronco Everglades model, and I have to say, I think this is my favorite version of the Bronco yet. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I love my Broncos here. If you haven't already seen them, I got a lot of Bronco videos, and this one is probably my most exciting since the release of the Bronco itself. The new Everglades trim for the Bronco has been released. It's got a little bit of camo on it, but it's minimal and we can still see all the details, including color and some options. Now, if you weren't familiar with the fact that there is an Everglades model, well, surprise, there is, and it is slightly different than the other ones you're gonna get. Now, this does come standard with the Sasquatch package. As you can see here from our first photo, this is a mean looking Bronco. I mean, it's not the Rattler, but you can see it has the winch on the front bumper. Now, this is, from my understanding, and I could be wrong here, but from what I'm reading, the Everglades model comes with the winch and that modular bumper. Now, the other thing that it also comes with, if you can look through the camo here on the pillar of the passenger side, it has a snorkel. So they intended this to be wading in some water in swampy environments. Now, stock form, the Bronco can wade in, I think, 31 and a half inches of water. Let me look and see if I can figure that one out. Um, was it 31 inches? Now, with the snorkel in this package, you can go up to 33 and a half. So there is an increase there. Now, I don't know if this color is very specific to the Everglades or if you can get different colors for it, but you can see along the uh, underside of the grill and the roof line, it is in the abruption green color. Now, I love this color. I Since it came out, I think this is a fantastic color. I would personally choose this on my Bronco if it were me, but since it is an Everglades model, it makes sense. So this could be standard, I don't know yet but I think this looks absolutely amazing. The grill is also a little bit different. The word Bronco is not as predominant. So I'm okay with that. And if you look, one of the things you'll see just even from this photo as well, the fender flares are a little bit different. And that's because the entire fender shape is a little different. Now I'll get to that shape here in just a second, but before I do, we have another shot here of the back with a much closer look at the eruption green color with the tailgate open. You also have that little pullout tray there on the cargo area. Um, not a lot of changes in the back, but we are gonna scroll to the next picture real quick because this one is the one that fascinates me the most. And it's the shot of the wheel. The new wheels on this are amazing. I love these things. They look like they would be aftermarket and it gives it more of like a military look. This wheel, to me, I wouldn't even change it. If I bought a Bronco, you know, there's wheels that look good, they're okay, still might want to change it for a more custom look. I would leave this thing on there. It just looks amazing to me. Obviously, I want to want your opinions on it. It's kind of like a more aggressive steely, but with a military, I don't know, it's, it's very military to me. I think it looks fantastic. Now, this also, if you notice from the rear, it does have the tow package. I don't know if that's standard equipment or not, um, but we all know that the tow package is literally just the hitch and the wire harness, uh, part of the last video I had. Um, let's see, moving on to the side shot. Now, this is another one you can see of the wheel and tire that looks incredible. This is, like I said, I'm not going to hover on it because I can express my thoughts on it, but this is where you're going to see the difference in the fenders. Now, the other Bronco models, you'll see the front fenders are much more rounded. This one has a little bit of a flat spot on the top. So it comes up and flattens for a little bit and then comes back down. Now, I'm not sure that's something they needed to do because the other fenders looked great, but I do appreciate the change. When you get different models, you want some more differentiation from the other. You know what I mean? It's just something that I need different. And I think these fender flares look a lot better than the fully rounded ones, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what the purpose was, if this adds more clearance or what the deal is, but either way, I think it looks great. So we can see another shot from the front end, just the opposite side. 
The fender flares do look like these stick out just a hair more than the other ones, and that could just be an optical illusion to me. Um, something else that I'm also curious about is that hump on the hood. I know there is a hump on the hood of the other Broncos, but for some reason, and it could be the camo playing tricks on my eyes, it looks a little bit bigger. And I'm going to chalk it up to it's probably the camo playing tricks on me. But, you know, let me know if you see it as well. But I, just, I love this setup, though. The green with the aggressive bumper and the winch, even the snorkel, the more aggressive wheels. This is a really fantastic looking Bronco. And I think this, to me, is exactly how I would love to spec mine out, you know, if I were getting one. And hopefully one day down the road, I will. But right now, the market is crazy and the production is even more crazy. Now... I won't know what your opinion is over all of this particular model of the Bronco because if this is set up the way it is a standard, a snorkel, the winch and everything, is there anything else on here you would change? The fender flares, what do you think of the shape? I believe this to me is something not necessary considering the abilities of the Bronco itself, especially with the Sasquatch package. And we also have the Raptor Bronco coming out. So was this necessary to have or not? I think this is great for the person who's not really into modifying, but wants something different. The Overlander, that's what I'll say. The Overlander, this is the vehicle for them. But do me a favor, leave your opinions down below what you think of the Everglades Bronco, all the changes. Personally, I love it. My favorite Bronco yet. I want to know what your thoughts are. Biggest thing I want to know right now is with these changes and this new trim level, what's the price tag going to be? Where are we starting with this price tag? Do me a favor, drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you in the next upload.